everybody. Right now we're going to work on multiplying decimals together. So before we get started, let's just understand this. Um, in the previous module, we talked about adding and subtracting and how important when you're doing those two operations, you line your decimals up. Well, when you're doing multiplication, you do not have to worry about where your decimal point is in the beginning of the problem. You don't have to worry about where your decimal is until you're done doing the multiplication. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to work one of the problems on this page, um, example B, and I'm going to work that out for you and then I'm going to show you a couple of shortcuts just to kind of refresh your mind on how to do multiplying with decimals. So let's go to the board. All right, so we have 576 thousandths and I want to multiply that by seven hundredths. So what I'm going to do is just multiplication like I did in one of the previous modules. You do 7 times 6, that would be 42. So put your 2 and carry the 4 up. Then 7 times 7 would be 49. 49 plus 4 would make 53. So put the 3, carry the 5. Then 7 times 5 makes 35. 35 plus 5 makes 40. Put the 0, carry the 4. And then 7, the last one, 7 times 0 is 0, but 0 plus 4 makes 4. So once you've done that number times everything that's at the top of it, now you're going to worry about how many decimal places do I need to use. So let me grab my other marker. Okay, so this is what we do to find out how many decimal places we use. Look how many, I'm going to erase these arrows. Look how many decimal places I have in the very first number. I have one, two, three. Three decimal places in the first number. Then I look at the second number, one, two. So in order to find out how many I need all together, you would add these. So I need a total of five decimal places. And when you count your decimal places, you always start from the right and move to the left. So that's what we do. We put our pencil here and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Now notice that there's a number missing in front of the four. Anytime you run out of space, but you still need to make jumps for your decimal point, you fill those gaps in with zeros, okay? So then, once you fill in all the gaps you need, then your decimal would go in the front of that number. So your answer would be 4,032 ten thousandths. Okay, that would be your answer for that one. Now, let's say you want to multiply 34 and one tenth times the number 10,000. Well, instead of doing the multiplication like this, when you multiply by powers of 10, you can do shortcuts. And the shortcut is count how many numbers you have that are zeros, which would be one, two, three, four. So the 10,000 has four zeros. That's how many places we're going to move our decimal. And since we have a big number, 10,000, that's a lot, we're going to move our decimal from where it is right here, and we're going to move it to the right that many places, one, two, three, four, however many zeros I have in that number. So I have 34 and then put the one in there and I'm going to move my decimal from that dot one, two, three, four places to the right. So one, two, three, four places. And when I move it four places, again, all these missing spots get filled with zeros. So my decimal point would move. And what is that number now? When you put this comma in here, that would be the whole number, 341,000, okay? Well, the same thing holds true if you want to multiply by a big number, a big power of 10, you move your decimal place to the right. If you want to take your number 34 and 1 tenth, the same exact number, but you want to multiply it by a small power of 10, which this is because it's 1 tenth, 1 over 10, 
you move your decimal point to the left, however many spaces you have behind that decimal. I have one digit behind the decimal, so therefore it's going to move from right here, where it is, move one space to the left. So now my number is 3.41, because the decimal point actually moves from there to the new spot right there. So that is now 3 and 41 hundredths. But that's just, those two things are shortcuts to make sure that you don't have to sit there and do this huge, massive multiplication if you don't want to, or if you don't need to. All right? Okay, so that's all I have for multiplying. And the next thing we're going to be doing is division. Thank you.